What's going on guys? Mega Gig back with another video, back with our Chaos Let's Play with Total War Warhammer 2 on the Mortal Empires campaign. And I want to kind of preface this video by saying I'm not the only one having issues with Varg. Um, apparently it's a thing, it's kind of like from Warhammer 1, but even more so. Uh, there is something that's allowing them to just create armies upon armies upon armies. And most people have seen, like when they actually have the land... Uh, you know, if they march through the land and find all this, they've got like eight to ten stacks of nothing but chariots and marauder horsemen around here. And um, I guess the balance comes when they add Norska in, and uh, the the tribes actually get rebalanced. But uh, for now, you end up with crap like this, which is really annoying. And this whole army is probably nothing but marauder horsemen and chaos chariots. Um, and uh, apparently a lot of people are having issues with Varg taking over their entire uh, campaign. And if they're playing as a new world race, then they're running into Varg over here later on. If they're playing as an old world race, they're losing to Varg. <laughs> and it's just, it's, it's dumb. I don't know why they're able to field so many armies, and I don't know why they're able to get so many chariots so early. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. But, uh... Anyways, on to the campaign that we're playing. Um, you guys suggested that I give this guy Colec's army and then create a new army with Colec. That's what I should have done previously, and I did mention something about doing that, but I thought my ally was going to be strong enough to hold off Varg that I'd be able to build them up on their own. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So we're going to march back if we can. I'm going to mark back some. Um, I guess we can go the whole way. Uh, yeah, look at this. It's just dumb. This, this isn't even a fun army to fight. They don't even have any melee units. I mean, what is this garbage? Um, you would think after this long... This has actually been an issue in Total War games for quite some time where the, the enemy recruits nothing but ranged units and cav and chariots. Uh, it's been a problem in Total War Rome 2 and so on and so forth and uh, there's plenty of mods that fix it and if it's so easily modded and fixed I don't know why it hasn't been fixed in the base game. Uh, sorry for going off on a little rant here but it's really aggravating. <laughs> it really really is and uh, it's it's yeah it's getting really under my skin these these Varg armies it's just stupid. It just, oh, it's, it's really getting aggravating. But we are going to be taking Kolek to the New World. We're going to forget about this stuff, but we're going to kind of control this area so we can give uh, Jorhal here our uh, our army with Kolek so he can actually do something. And then uh, we'll have Kolek create a new army and head off to the New World. And this guy can stay behind and try and get a hold of Varg here, and uh, maybe he can he can go after Varg and uh, hopefully take them out. But yeah, I I uh, I can't believe that after all this time, and I, like I said, it was a big problem in Warhammer One. I can't believe it's not something that they didn't fix uh, for Mortal Empires Warhammer Two here, because you don't have to implement Norska to nerf these guys. I mean, seriously, they don't need to have chariots. I guess I guess it's not really that early in the game. We're on, like, what, turn 70 or something, so it's not that bad, but the the recruiting of... Ooh, ambush. Look at that. That what, what is this? Look, three different stacks. It seems kind of ridiculous. It really does. Um, but we can go in here and... Uh, Oh, look, they've got a few melee units. Not without some chariots, though. And a few melee units. This is actually a decent-looking army. A couple of chariots, a couple of horses, a couple of dogs, and the rest melee. This is dumb. But we can do a lightning strike battle. And we're just going to burn these guys down to the ground as much as we can. Let's actually get... Oh, apparently it's still going. Let's get this guy up here. Uh, actually, we don't want him to reinforce just yet. The 
Uh, let's do... Oh, we can't do that now because we've got this. So let's do this. We lost our dogs. Kind of expected. Let's awaken the tribe. Get a tribe back here. And this lightning strike thing is definitely... Um, coming in handy right now, trying to get these guys under control. And I may not. I actually can't reach those guys. And I can't reach them here either. I kind of want to send him around here, but I want to give him the army, but I can't actually get. What's the movement range on these guys? They can just move to there. So we can come up here and raid and get some experience. They might come out to get us and we can just withdraw. Uh, we can't recruit any units though. We do have a skill point with good old Kolak here. Uh, Marauders, Spiring Champions, um, Cavalry, Armor for Chariots, Charge. Hmm. Oh, well, let's go straight to Rally. There we go. That's what I was wanting. For some reason, I was thinking we needed to spend more skill points over here. Uh, chosen units. Yes. All right. And, yeah, that we're done there. We're going to take out these guys. Um, and we are going to give our units to this guy. We're going to have to watch our movement, though. We need to go about half in between each one when we give the give the units away so that uh, we can move back away and not take attrition. And then we'll probably send this guy down and around here and uh, work on taking out Varg's buildings that are not protected. The only thing is, if we run into an army with this guy, um, with the units we're going to give to him, we won't be able to re-recruit those units back up if we lose them. And if we run into a full army of chariots uh, or marauder horsemen, that is going to be an issue. The only way to really fight that is to go with uh, an army of um, marauder horsemen and chariots ourselves, and that would just be not fun at all. Uh, scaling is coming over here, though. Oh, Varg coming in. Look at that. Uh, I don't feel like fighting all these chariots, so we're just going to auto this. We are going to lose a couple more units. But I don't feel like fighting the dumb armies. And, oh, darn, we got blocked, I guess. Yep. We did get blocked. Well, we can, uh... We're actually going to stay in range of this guy. So we can reinforce. And let's get... Uh, what's the upkeep? 150 to 260? Yes, yeah, so let's get one of these. I want two dogs in case we do have to fight. And we lost, uh, a Chaos spawn. But we're getting our, uh, we're getting him back next turn. So that'll be nice. And we can actually reach this guy, but he's being reinforced. And you can see there, that's right when our attrition would start. So we're going to leave him there. And hopefully we can move out with Kolek next time. We can get a Sorcerer, though. Aggressive leadership. Uh, we got... Yeah, we, had, we just had the one guy injured, right? Oh, no, we've got this guy back. Okay. So we'll see if we can wound 27%. Yeah, that's not very good. But we can recruit more, maybe to go in this guy's army. One of two, one of two, yeah. So let's get one more of each of these guys. Aggressive, um, infernal dominance. Let me see, three charge bonus weapon strength, melee attack. Let's just go with melee attack. And then we'll also recruit another sorcerer. 
We don't want another fire though. Fire's down at the bottom. We've got we've got the fire one already. Speed, discipline. Let's see what the Let's go with disciplined. Leadership and melee attack for all units in the army. That's pretty good. Oh, and they are level five too. That's nice. Let's go spirit leech. Uh, none of these really do damage until we get over here. So let's just go, yeah, something like that. And then this guy is level four. Let's give him training because he'll be working on the other army. Um, Blade Master. We'll give him Chaos Steed too, so he can move around the battlefield quicker. And Lord, not moved. Yes. All right. Let's end the turn. I'm not really sure how Varg is able to, like, really, I know they're given some kind of bonuses, but how they're actually able to field so many armies with so little in the beginning uh, when other factions don't do it. Apparently in some people's campaigns, scaling is also running wild uh, along with Varg. And so before the Chaos Invasion even starts, you've got... <laughs> And of course they wounded successfully. At, oh darn, look at this. Um Yeah, we're gonna retreat from this because oh no, they are after me now. They will be dominated. Uh and I don't think I can actually reach no. to help out. Can't. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, let's do this. To our dogs. This episode's probably going to be kind of getting our affairs in order. We're trying to get everything where we, we really want it to be. So there might be some back and forth stuff here. Let's do that. And we did lose a unit. Good. Say good, but uh, I wanted to put... Which one is this? Yeah, this is our burning head guy. He needs to go in there. And then this is our... Who got wounded? Jor Hole. Wait. I thought this was Jor Hole. Ah, we have two jaw holes. Interesting. My Same day. Maybe. Bolt of change. Tempests and fire. Well, there's not much we can do unless we force force march out of here. Yeah, we're definitely not going to win this. So we're going to have to force march out of here. Yes, my ruinous power. So let's head around this way. Do not Maybe these guys will come back. Failure to assault the units. Of course he failed. Of course, because their guy, who is a level 15, is going to be successful multiple times but we will not but we did get another skill point let's see for chosen units again and then we are going to have some war beasts later on um Didn't I want more horde recruitment capacity? 
I mean, I did, but do I want it more than buffing up the rest of my army? 37, 38, 39, 40. I can max these two. This really just adds more experience. It doesn't add recruitment capacity, so that's okay. And all right, let's end the turn. They may continue to chase after your hole up there, but we'll see. We want to give him our units that are in Colex army here before we head back. We're going to auto a lot of these battles down just so we can kind of quickly move through them and get back to where we wanted to be. I didn't want to do any of this stuff off camera because that would be kind of ridiculous. So we'll just have an episode where we're kind of getting our affairs in order. We're going to do what needs to be done, but we will get to the new world. And Varg is continuing to move down there. So we may just come around here and meet him over here. Meet in the middle. And we couldn't get out of there. Yeah, let's sack it. I foresee destruction. Are these guys not at war with Varg? Of course they aren't. Even though I awaken them, of course they aren't at war with Varg, because why would they be? Uh, we don't have any upgrades, so we'll go ahead and move closer. Skill point here. You see we've maxed out our burning head. Let's get Arcane Conduit for the recharge. Um, go with Soul Blight, I guess. Oh, that's a better chance, and we still failed. Assault units. Uh, Mentash here is the one that's supposed to be in Colex army. Die, you fools. Destruction for all. Agree. Mortals will quail. The gods and what do we need to enter raiding? We need 50%, and we're not at 50%, really? Ay ay ay. Well, we may as well move a little bit further. Apparently, we can only move to here. And go in there. And yeah, we've moved everybody. This guy still has three turns. It's in the turn. And now the Empire is just randomly coming up in here. What is this? They completely pass by Varg, and they come for my ally. Like, what is going on? I'm telling you, the AI in these games gets dumber and dumber, which is why I almost never play the vanilla version. I almost always play with mods to make the AI a little less stupid. But I figured for, uh, you know, online videos, I didn't want to play with mods. I didn't want to make it unfair. But but it's not really unfair. It's actually more challenging with mods. It's not like you get mods just to make yourself OP. You do it to make the game more balanced. Yeah, apparently we're in too close to... Well, we can burn this down real fast. And we're almost to level 40. Oh, ambush. Darn. Well, I'm pretty sure we're not winning it, so let's just auto it. Oh, darn. We might have actually been able to win it. That's unfortunate. No, we wouldn't have been able to. 
this chaos. Um, you have my can we come out here? We can come out here. We did get a point. All right, we finally have a skill point. Let's just merge these That's units chaos. up. And uh, Midland and the Empire just completely passed by Varg. Even though, even though, um, they actually aren't at war with Varg. Interesting. What is their diplomatic Don't relations use. towards? Varg, though, I guess I can't see that. If we click the Empire, we should be able to scroll over Varg and see their diplomatic relations with them. I don't know. Apparently, for some reason, they're not at war with Varg. Because, you know, who would be at war with Varg, right? See if we can't assault these guys. Finally, success. It's about time. And then. Where'd our other go? We got wounded again. Of course we did. Of course we did. Alright, let's end the turn. I'm not really sure what the Empire is doing. They're just kind of wandering around, taking attrition. Probably not the best use of their time. I'm not even sure if they're at war with Sarl and can't with or with Sarl or whoever this is that I awakened. I didn't actually check to see who they were at war with. I'm not even sure what Midlands doing. <laughs> what are these guys doing up here? Makes no sense. None of this makes any sense. This isn't how any of it works. And here comes scaling. And there goes Varg. Let's see who the Empire's at war with here. The Empire is at war with the Beastmen and me, but not my allies. And uh, same with Midland. So I'm not entirely sure what they're doing up here. I really wish it would let me see the relationship status with them and other factions. Uh, well, we can sail out here and get this while we're at it. 5,000, nice. There's a random army there. head over here and get these guys then we'll come back and get these guys we'll try and get our army back going but these guys are probably gonna lose scaling we'll just keep trying to assault these units to make our life a little easier we'll keep getting uh, points skill points for this as well Tell me they aren't going to colonize that. They must have gone into ambush stance. But it didn't. It didn't say on the screen. Stance in camp. What do these guys want? A military alliance? Yeah, you know, we might actually take that. They are at war with Varg, too. So, let's just... They're at war with Varg, but yet they're surviving right there. How is that even possible? 
with Vard running all over the place. And scaling is just coming back here. I'm not really sure what's going on. See if we can assault the units. All right. Make this a little bit easier. Lightning strike's not going to help us. And uh, let's go ahead and sack it. And we'll move him out. And we'll have him come in and attack it next time and raise it. Should be able to win against a completely sacked settlement. We'll upgrade that to level 2. Force march over here. Once we take these guys out, then we'll be able to... Um, we'll go back and combine our units real fast. Oh, wounded! Of course, because why not? You know, the Empire is right here. They just must have just been hidden by, uh, by the shadows. Alright, in the turn. Trying to burn through a couple of end turns. This part might not be that exciting. And they did take that too. What is going on with this? Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get things situated here. So one thing's for sure, I don't want to end up in the end game fighting nothing but Varg chariots. That wouldn't even be the least bit fun. Scaling now going down there. And Varg moving over here. Let's see if we can assault the garrison. We can't. Should be able to win this, though. And we did, but our... Did our general die? No, he didn't. <laughs> he almost did. But he didn't. All right, let's get some growth going so we can finally upgrade some stuff. Um, we don't have any other peeps out here. Let's go into raiding stance and see what what these guys do. Sorrel is not at war with anyone, which seems pretty silly to me. Oh, they might go to war with them pretty easily, though. Interesting. Well, we can't afford it. Alright. They went to war with them. which we might have actually doomed our allies, to be honest, asking them to go to war for us, or with us. Now, just moving back up in here. I'm sure there's some other Varg armies somewhere around. Scaling, moving back up. Ready for duty? Alright. Let's 
put this guy in here. Training. We'll work our way over this way and we'll heal up some. And hey, we actually have growth. All right. Let's get some more units. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. Kolak has another. We'll go ahead and buff out our Legion of Doom. And apparently he can't reach, even though we're not in... We're not in... Uh, did we get blocked or something? No? I don't understand this game. Scaling has a fairly well-rounded army. Still a little bit of spam going on. These guys have a pretty well-rounded army, really. And these guys are actually losing their army. These guys have built up a full army, which is nice. We'll tell them to attack. No, don't do that. What are you doing? I wanted to see what this army is. Yeah, these guys would probably actually win. Let's go ahead and end the turn. We are at the 30 minute mark, but we are going to go long. We are going to get things situated. At least the end turns aren't crazy long yet. But they're long enough, that's for sure. Oh, they went into an ambush stance. Oh ho ho! Attacked and lost. That will incur my wrath. What? They lost hardly nothing! Uh, this is sorcerer, which we have. Let's go ahead and send our sorcerer over here. We did get that to upgrade. We still have a little ways to go before we can get to that. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Lightning strike doesn't help us. Of course, it's a it's a garrison. That's not very much. Let's go ahead and burn this to the ground so we don't have to worry about it next time. Bring ruin. In the turn. Come over here and take this out, and then we'll work on giving that other guy Colex army. We'll bring them together. the army which is nice and they retreated Varg is probably going to continue forward though just a touch Do and oh they lost me. of course they did probably should have never had them go to war <laughs> but oh well live and learn
And they're recruiting a new army up here. And we've got research. Chaos Warriors. Oh, that's leadership and experience. There we go. Marauders. I guess we'll go with this. We've got the money. We've got the funds. And while we're at it, let's merge what units we can and re-strengthen our army to its fullest potential. We got this, 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 and this. And oh, the Midland army coming around. Of course they are. See if we can block the army. Oh, we did. All right. Look at that. All right, let's end the turn. That's pretty unfortunate. I guess I should have never asked them to go to war for us or with us. But I thought having three stacks plus the garrison would be enough, even if it was low tier units to hold off one of those, but apparently it was not. We may go ahead and bring Kolek back up this way. And what was the actual mission that was issued? Eliminate the following Lord in battle. Give us a Razor standard. Send it to hell. Razor sack one of the following settlements. Raise or sack the following settlement, rather. Yes. We can do that. We can do that. See if we can't send our ally out there. Hero not moved. Let's go ahead and bring him over here. Another hero not moved. See if we can't assault these units. Oh darn, he's not in range. And they don't have active abilities anymore, which is weird. It's kind of weird. Chaos Knights have chosen, exalted heroes. Knights chosen, yeah, that's for Warriors, Spires, Champion, and Chaos Knights. That's not bad. Campaign movement range and replenishment. Ooh, let's go with that. Let's end the turn. And what are they doing? Just moving out. Well, that's okay. As long as they get in Varg's way, that's what I really want. But we've got to get some things in order because we didn't necessarily mess up in the beginning. We just didn't expect Varg coming in like they did and constantly taking out our allies. All right, they at least they failed finally. Faction destroyed over there. Not surprised. Not surprised. Let's give him a steed so he can move around quicker. See if maybe we can assault these units. Nope. We'll go ahead and awaken the tribe again. Now they're back. <laughs> And we'll kind of think about coming this way. This is yes, this is 
keep replenishing, keep recruiting some units. This guy in here. They, whoops. They don't have a huge garrison here, so we ought to be able to take it on after a couple of more turns once we get a full army. Oh, and they lost there. Now the vampires are coming in after Varg. Interesting. Are the are the vampires at war with Varg? Because that would be. You dare? They are. All right. Don't disappoint me. Come over here. Take that. All right. Things are beginning to look up. We are losing a lot of money though. But once we get over there to uh, places where we haven't been, we'll be sacking for tons and tons and tons of money. And then there won't be any need to worry. Might actually put this guy in our other army over here too, because Kolak, Kolak is really our melee hero over here. We don't really need another one in there. I mean, it's always nice, but we don't really need it. Vargas has lost quite a bit of power now. Oh, we've got one in here already, though, don't we? We do. Bummer. See, is he close enough he can do anything? Nope. Let's see what the auto resolve says. Oh, we can take this easily. Look at that. We can sack it, replenish, get lots of money. All right, we got a follower gain for horde growth, too. We really need that. Let's get more growth. All right, now we're starting to cook with some mustard gas. Leadership, melee defense, income from post-loot battle, income from sacking settlements, income from sacking settlements. What else we got down here? Research rate, missile resistance, melee attack and defense, physical resistance, All right, and we can actually uh, do this, get a couple more. Do we have anything we can give Kolek? We've got everything. Recruitment cost, that's not really that good. Oh, we've got another horde growth, that'll work. Casualties, income, banner of rage. Do we have anything that's... No, nope, we're just going to leave it like that. Spell shield. Uh, oh, we've got another trickster cell. That's pretty nice, actually. Ward save, 15%. Yeah, all right. And we can come over here and attack these guys. Let's do it. Let's delete them again. And we're going to, um, yeah, we'll awaken this tribe too. Why not? That way we can replenish here. Do this. We got our last point, which we're going to use. Um, it's only plus two more melee attack. We can go with an augment. We can give him more melee defense, give him more charge bonus. Uh, ambush defense chance, which might not be too bad. Let's go with income. We're, we're probably going to need the income later on. And yeah, now we can build something. What can we build, though? Uh, chariots. Enough, enough with the chariots. Minus upkeep for all units. 
Uh, trolls, we're probably going to hold off on. I wouldn't mind having some good cav. I wouldn't mind it. Let's save up so we can get some more dragon ogres. We uh, we need two more. Two more to our growth. Let's end the turn. We are starting to get this under control. Although this, this army coming over here is not... Not something I want to see. Hopefully our rat allies will listen to us and move out against somebody. Against the war target that we gave them. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, yes it would. Yeah, you can definitely see Varg has started to lose its power. All right, they're mobilizing. Leadership was 12 for four turns. Defeat the following Lord's army. This guy, I'm not going to come all the way down there. Uh, these guys are force marching. Let's take this out. We've got leadership. Let's give melee defense to our general. This will give us some more growth as well as some points. Let's get let's get our uh, our vortex here, and then more horde growth. All right, finally we have some uh, some horde growth going. We'll be able to upgrade in a couple of turns. We can't recruit anything though because of that. These guys can't reach us only if they force march. Um, so I tell you what, because we want to get Kolek, we want to give Kolek's units to this guy still, even though he's upgrading. Let's go down around this way. We'll take this out, we'll take this out, and we'll kind of meet up over here, give the units, and split off. Sound like a plan? I think it sounds like a plan. Let's do one more turn, and then we'll probably cut it off there and continue that next time. We haven't had a battle this time. Oh, crap. They went to ambush. That's not good. Uh, darn. Yeah, they, they're definitely strong enough to take this guy out. We just got him leveled up where he's got some horde growth. I could swap, I could swap him out. Forgot to move this guy. Um... But he was successful in what I told him to do. I could swap this guy out so we don't lose his level. I might do that, actually. I might just disband this guy, disband his units, and then uh, rehire him in a few turns over here. And that way we don't have to do all this running around. I wonder if we can discover the ambush with this guy. No, can't discover the ambush. All right, uh, let's do this then. Let's disband, disband, yes. And now he will be, let's get our skill point here. He will be able to be, um, to be recreated or rehired. Should be able to, whoops. Yeah, here we go, in five turns. So unfortunately we're gonna have to wait five turns, but we will rehire this guy over here. So we're just gonna kind of hang out here and uh, cause a little trouble for, Varg for the time being. We'll rehire him, we'll give him the units, we'll do like we should have done the first time, and then we will raise a new army with Kolek. But we got to have this area somewhat stable to do that, because Kolek's going to need probably three or four turns to get an entire army 
um, entire army going. Let's do this. So we're replenishing. Yeah, and we can't do anything with these guys now. But this one, I do want... I want to go ahead and put him back in Colex army. We'll bring all of them around. Just in case we forget. Go ahead and give them these... Give them these movements. And just so we're a little farther into it, we'll end it and uh, or we'll end and do one more turn. Yeah, they might have ambushed. Of course, they're going to take that. Of course, they are, because that's dumb. But <laughs> whatever, I don't care. They're not going to survive up here very long, to be honest. I don't think they're going to thrive up here, anyways. Um, and it's going to take them forever to build up because it's probably not uh, pleasant. Um, atmosphere for them. What do I want to say? What am I trying to say? Uh, so yeah, they're not going to thrive up here. I'm not really sure what they're doing up here, to be honest. Both Midland and the Empire apparently didn't want to do anything with that. But it looks like we're getting Varg under control. So the plan is to now rehire Jor Hall or whatever his name was uh, in a couple of turns. Give him Colex army. Spread him out so they don't take attrition. Have him start dealing with all this other stuff. And um, and have uh, Kolek create a new army and head to the New World. Let's go ahead and raise this, get us some more growth. We got another point here. Uh, ooh, weapon strength, 7% when attacking. Nice. And we can kind of come... Let's come over here with this guy. Wait. This is actually the one... This is actually the one I wanted in Colex Army. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll bring the other guys up around here, too. I'll probably get confused which ones are which, to be honest. These guys moved out. They didn't really do a whole lot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now the vampires are taking over everything. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. First Varg and now the vampires. <laughs> Poor humans. No wonder the humans are up here. They can't keep a hold of their own lands. The, between Varg and the vampires, they, they can't do anything. Um... Let me see here. So what is this, four turns now? Yep. In four turns, we will re-recruit Jorhol. We will immediately give him Kolek's army, and then Kolek will move out, create a new army. And Kolek's going to come up here. We're going to take these three settlements, but we're just going to continue this way. We're going to take that settlement then and come down here, take whatever's over here, and head to the New World. That is going to be on next time's part. We might get to the new world by the end of next time's part. Uh, and then the other guy is going to come up here and deal with the rest of Varg. Uh, we're not at war with the vampires. And they kind of like that we're at war with Varg. We're actually very friendly with them. And they took a non-aggression pact. Nice. Look at that. All right. So, but that's where we're going to cut it off this time, guys. I apologize. It was kind of a boring, long, drawn-out part, and it didn't have any battles. But I'm trying to get this stuff situated uh, from kind of the mess up earlier so, uh, so we can actually get to the interesting stuff because nobody wants to fight a full army of chariots and horse marauders. That's just dumb. But anyways, I hope you guys still enjoyed the video somewhat. Uh, if you did, leave a like and a comment. Let me know how you think it's going so far. What do you guys think about Varg taking over the world? And, well, now it looks like the vampires are coming in and are going to gonna take out Varg because the vampires have some decent units. I imagine the vampires have tons of heroes that they use. And they've got some big full stacks here. And, oh, there's our rat allies. We'll have them take that. Um... Yeah, the vampires have two two full stacks here, a full stack here, they're recruiting there, and uh, awesome.
Ostermark is going to come up here now, apparently. So things are starting to get situated, starting to get sorted. Watch Varg come from behind back here. I wouldn't be surprised. Can we see what's in this building? We can't. Yeah, but I hope you guys still got some kind of enjoyment out of this video. I do apologize that it was not very entertaining. Um, it wasn't even that entertaining to play, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, if you like the video, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Most of my videos are more interesting than this one. So, thank you guys for watching. More good stuff to come. Take care.